Good morning, East Texas, and a warm morning to start your day, that is. Now it's just after 5.16. We don't have much going on, if any, on our radar this morning. You can see maybe just a few sprinkles popping up out to our western counties, but overall, all of us, if not most of us, will remain dry throughout the day today. Now you can see a couple showers that are up in uh, Oklahoma stretching into Arkansas all the way down into Mississippi and we do have one little disturbance that has moved from Amarillo out to Oklahoma at this point, none of which should affect us today. Now right now outside it's clear it's 78 degrees and the dew point 74. You know what that means at this point it feels warmer outside 81 is what it feels like already right here in Tyler and we've got just a small breeze that's helping us this morning, although it's coming up from the south once again, which brings that humidity with it, which is only going to make us heat up with our heat indices later today. Now, right now outside, once again across our region, it does look like most of us are in the upper 70s. Sulphur Springs already at 81 this morning, and they'll continue to warm up as well throughout the day. Our high temperatures this afternoon are getting closer and closer to our record high of 101. You can see that we will be in the 100s today or even the upper 90s. It looks like across the region we're going to beat our average high by a lot of 92. We'll have clear skies and once again breeze from the south southwest that is going to make it much warmer and definitely feel like summer outside today as if it hasn't already though. Now. All of East Texas is under some kind of heat advisory or heat warning. We've got our orange counties, which are under a heat advisory until 7 p.m. tomorrow. All the counties in pink out to our west, closer to the Metroplex, are under a heat warning until 8 p.m. tomorrow as well. Now, this just means that our counties in pink, their heat indices are going to get hotter than those in orange. Now, we're all still going to be feeling that heat for sure. And I wanted you to take a look at this. We have a wind coming up from the southwest, but but once again, that's bringing that humidity with it. You can see at 10, 10 a.m. this morning, we've already got a heat index of about 96. By the time we get to noon, we're at 104, and by the afternoon, we're heating up almost to 110. Now, this is going to continue to warm up throughout the day, so we won't all stop there. In fact, a lot of us are going to get even hotter than that. You can see Mount Pleasant in 114, Emory at 113, Groveton at 109, even Carthage at 113 as well. So once again, our heat indices will continue to warm up throughout the day thanks to that sun, the humidity that we're seeing. So make sure if you're outside, you're taking plenty of water with you. You're keeping your pets indoors as well because they can overheat just like we can. Now tonight, we'll have a few passing clouds. That southwest wind will continue. It'll make it warm and muggy again for 79 degrees today. Now, our rain meter this week, it's not looking too promising. Now, throughout the week, doesn't look like we're going to get anything. We haven't seen a dry week like this in a while, and it's not until Sunday that we might even get just a tenth, a hundredth to a quarter of an inch, and that's mainly to our north. Now, the rest of us will probably remain dry throughout the week and unfortunately have a very hot week to deal with. Now you can see our temperatures really start to heat up starting tomorrow. We'll make it to about 99 today and then throughout the rest of the week we'll see triple digits. Going into the weekend though we'll see a little bit of a cool off and starting next week maybe even a few thunderstorms.